Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I actually filmed quite a bit of footage for this vlog, but just a bunch of like montage -y bits. So I'm just gonna like take you back. We're gonna catch up, gonna go over the last few days, like over the weekend, do a little bit of a recap, and then we'll bring it back to the present. So hi, hello. The day I'm filming this is Thursday. That's a lie, it is Wednesday. And we started this vlog off last Friday. It was so much fun. We actually met up with one of my Instagram friends, Beth or Bethany Francesca on Instagram if you follow her. We've been following each other for years. Like honestly, I would say at least since like 2019, 2020. And she and her husband, Nick, recently got married. Oh my God. Anyways, Beth and Nick recently got married. They were in Vegas, so they decided when they were on their way back from Vegas that they would hit up Disneyland. So I was like, of course, we'll come meet you there. So we only got to have like, I don't know, half a day with them, but it was so much fun. I did get a couple clips here and there and we just had a freaking blast. So yeah, that was just so much fun and like I love the experience of meeting an online friend in real life and having them be like exactly as you pictured and even better. We got along so well. We were hysterically laughing. There were times where I was crying laughing. We managed to go on a few rides together. Um, it was during the Disney 100. I forgot to mention that and it was busy. It was busy, let me tell you. We managed to still go on a few rides and like really, really enjoyed ourselves. I didn't want the night to end and we actually didn't get home until like, I think it was like 1.30 in the morning. So we had a great time. I wanna say the entire next day, like Saturday was just a wash. Um, we absolutely laid in bed all day and did nothing and it was glorious. I feel like after Disneyland, even we had two glasses of wine when we were at Disneyland, I think. But even then it's like just all of the walking around and like going on rides and walking from here to there and going everywhere that like truly does exhaust you. So so we laid in bed all day, it was great. And then Sunday, we headed out on like a nice little cute neighborhood walk. I freaking love Sundays. I love going out, going on a neighborhood walk, grabbing a coffee, going to a park. Drew and I just sit there and we like chat about life and it's just very wholesome and I love it so much. nice wholesome Sunday and then Monday I just had to hit the ground running I had so much work to do this week in particular has been really really busy so I edited literally all day long and then I actually had an appointment to get my hair extensions which we'll talk about in a minute but I managed to do like a really quick workout before I did that I was cutting it down to the wire but did my workout then went and got my extensions done that was really fun So here they are. This is sort of like the finished product. It's just kind of more full right here and not really anywhere else. And also my hair is not styled. Um, this is how I woke up. I mean, I slept with it in a braid, but I'll probably show you a little bit more in like the next video. I did get tape in extensions. And by the way, I so appreciate those of you who were like trying to look out for me and were like, don't get extensions. It's gonna ruin your hair. I guess it depends on like what kind of extensions you get, how well you take care of them, who installs them for you. Um, the person that I went to, I felt like was like pretty experienced in hair extensions and gave me like a full PDF to memorize on like products to order, brushes to order, how to care for them. And if you do it properly, it actually helps like aid you along in the process of growing out your hair. So depends on who you ask. But anyways, yeah, I got I got tape and extensions. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or not, but I think they're really fun. Um, and I'll be excited to see what they look like, you know, maybe in like the next vlog, I'll style them properly. Then we're gonna fast forward to Tuesday. We're almost current. On Tuesday, I got invited to go to a really fun boxing class. So let's rewind it back to Tuesday morning, which was actually yesterday for me and get ready for a very exciting morning. Good morning, everybody. 
everybody welcome back to another vlog it is tuesday at 10 30 i'm actually getting ready to head out right now i'm going to my first ever boxing class I'm a little scared. My friend Morgan Yates here on YouTube, which if you don't watch her vlogs and her main channel videos, she's amazing. Um, she invited me to go to this boxing class with her that she loves so much. And it's perfect because I'm also filming a 30 days of exercise video. We're nearing the end of that. So, oh my fucking God. Someone just walked by my car and gave me a heart attack. Anyway, we're nearing the end of the 30 days. So I'm gonna go test out this workout class. We'll talk more about it in the main channel video. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. I am uh, not very strong cardiovascularly as we spoke about in the last vlog. I definitely struggle when it comes to like really intense cardio. It genuinely hurts me. Um, so I probably need to look into getting an inhaler after reading all of your comments. But anyways, okay, gotta go drive and do my first ever boxing class. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Okay, see you soon. just left actually after boxing Morgan and I got a smoothie together and we just sat there for like an hour and chatted it was so so nice and yeah I had a lovely morning great way to start the day my I was like letting my hair air out because it was very sweaty and now I'm on my way to get my nails done I probably in the last vlog got my nails fixed or maybe a couple vlogs ago but that was actually like a, I haven't gotten my nails done in weeks so it's time so I'm headed there I actually was late for my appointment I thought my appointment was at 1 30 it was at 1 um it's now 1 11 so I am running late so we will see because those girls at the nail salon do not play they were like calling me like where are you <laughs> and I was like I'm so sorry I'm on my way so I'm only like two minutes away so I'm gonna get these nails fixed up and then head home I'm gonna take a shower probably like fix up my hair a little bit because I sweat profusely oh I was sweating and the workout was so fun oh god yeah I forgot to mention that because I already filmed like my little segment for my main channel video but yeah it was a great time honestly would definitely go back it was very intense but it was fun like the music was upbeat you could go at your own pace. Like there were just a lot of things I really enjoyed about it. Anyways, I'm turning into the nail salon. There's a cop behind me. I don't know what's going on. We will chat in a little bit. Let's go get these nails done. So now we're back to today. I had such a good day with Morgan yesterday, such a nice morning. We only got to chat for like a couple hours, but it was the same situation as I mentioned before, like meeting someone that you know online, that you follow, and they're just lovely. They're just exactly what you would picture and even better than that. So can't wait to go back to Rumble. That'll be really fun. I definitely will go back. And now it is Wednesday. I have been editing all day long. It is currently 2.44. I actually just stopped to make myself some lunch, which I'll show you in a bit. Drew has actually been sick, um, so I've been laying low since yesterday I feel fine um, but now that I'm like filming this clip literally as of the last probably 20 minutes I have felt a little bit of a tickle in my throat which is not good because I actually have a photo shoot scheduled for Friday so I might need to cancel that we'll see um, I'm sh I mean listen if it sounds like I've been getting sick a lot, I have. If any of you have also been getting sick a lot since like having COVID or since COVID times, honestly, um, please let me know and make me feel better because everyone in my life is like, what, you're sick again? And I'm like, I don't know, it's not on purpose. I think it's just my immune system catching up over the last couple of years. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to make some lunch. Well, I, it's sort of already made. Here is what we're working with. So I have this bowl here. Oh, this lighting is bad. I air fried a little bit of sweet sweet potato with some seasoning. We got some kale. We got some like Trader Joe's like wild rice mix. I'm gonna add some feta. This lighting could not be worse. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna add, I just air fried a Morningstar Farms like vegan chicken patty thing just for a little crunch, a little extra protein. So I'm just gonna cube this up and then throw her in the bowl. <laughs> Super fancy stuff here. And then I think I might add a little bit of feta. I don't like touching this with my fingers because it freaking stinks. I'm sorry. Oh, my oil has been in the way. Sorry. And for those of you that have eyed that stupid outlet thingy that we still haven't covered, even though we've lived here for eight months at this point, <laughs> we're not gonna um, we'll get there eventually. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some feta. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna add some avocado because I used half of an avocado yesterday with my lunch. So I'll do the rest of it today. Ooh, maybe we'll cut off this top layer. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's, that's usable. 
I actually have a really hard time with the texture of avocado if it's not matched up, but I'm trying not to be, you know, so picky. So we'll see how that goes. I might work around that. And then I think for sauce, I have this bitchin' sauce in my fridge that I haven't gotten to use yet, and it's the ranch flavor. Listen, I don't know if it's gonna be good. I'm gonna smell it first. If not, I have some Annie's like green goddess dressing that I might use. Whoa, this thing is not open. This is more like bitchin' paste. Like, I think it. I think it's been in the fridge too long. Okay, we'll set that aside for now. Let's just go with the Annie's. Stick with what we know. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna do some of this Gerard's Greek feta dressing because it's kind of like I don't know. It's got some sweetness with the sweet potato, but then it has like the crispy chicken bits, feta, kale, rice. So we'll do like a little bit of feta dressing. And then for the drink of the day, I actually I think I remembered trying these in a vlog once before. These are called Olipop, not sponsored or anything. I bought them at Air One. And they're like these like canned, I don't know, probiotic sodas or something. It says sparkling tonic. It has three grams of sugar per can, plant powered, prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fibers. Some of them have caffeine, but this one doesn't. This is the tropical punch flavor. It's actually low-key kind of good. I didn't really love the strawberry vanilla flavor, and then I also tried the orange something, and that was pretty good too, so I might have to try some more. I think the first time we tried it, we tried the cola, which was not, I think we were taste, expecting it to taste like Coke, and it wasn't good. But I've actually been on a little bit of an Olipop kick lately. I'm sorry, you can hear the noise of my ice machine, which will be in a main channel video soon. So anyways, it's kind of like slightly in taste, obviously not in color, like Hawaiian punch vibes, but like a little bit sparkly, it's really good. It does have that like artificial sweetener taste, so if you don't like that, you probably won't like it. It's pretty damn good. I think this might be my favorite flavor. Here is what the lunch looks like, by the way, before I mix it all up, and uh, we'll see how this is. All right, we're gonna give it a try. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna try to get everything. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Even with the avocado, that is delicious. Bomb. Okay. I'm gonna go eat this and then we'll chat. Okay, lunch was delish and I just cleaned up the kitchen. And now a couple of packages just arrived. So I'm gonna open them up. I think this might actually be something to do with my potential outfit for Taylor Swift's tour. Ooh. Okay, this doesn't, I mean, this might give it away, but. That's what's in here. That's all. Okay, on to the next. I bought this thing to like block out my address on packages, but it was still wet, so I just got the ink all over my hand. Anyways, then this package is from ThreadUp. Cool, just got it all over the counter. Love that. And this is, ooh, oh, these are gonna be too big. Okay, well, we tried. But if this gives you a little bit, this plus the jewels, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I need to wipe this counter down. <laughs> I'm not keeping it a secret, by the way, um, the Taylor Swift thing. I just haven't decided what I want my outfit to be. Like, since we didn't get a tour for the last, what, four albums? Like, it's just so hard to decide. I'm like, do I go for Lover? Cause like, that was supposed to be the next one. Do I do like a Folklore Evermore thing? Or do I do Midnight? So I was obsessed with the Bejeweled look in the music video. This ink is like looking kind of difficult to take off. Anyways, I was just so like, the her Bejeweled music video look where she's in the like Bejeweled, it's like a black sort of bodysuit looking thing. I'm not gonna do a bodysuit, but I'll do like, shorts and a tube top and like the hair and the blue eyeshadow and the boots like it was breathtaking i don't think i've ever seen her look so hot in my entire life so i was like oh, i obviously need to recreate that so that's like my top option but we'll see haven't fully decided yet okay that's as good as it's gonna get you know what i think we're gonna do i really have just been in the mood to like chat so let's do that anyways i thought we would just sit down and chat and like something i'm really really trying to do more this year is stay in touch with like who I am and my authentic self and not try to be influenced by like what other people are doing or what other people say I should do. I actually just shared a video on Instagram this morning from Elise Myers, who is like an amazing TikTok Instagram creator. And she kind of focuses a lot on just like being her authentic self. And um, I've also recently been following Amber Filler up on Instagram and I 
have just loved seeing how like authentic she is and sort of like showing more parts of her personality than she has before and it just makes me like feel so inspired to just do whatever the fuck I want. I also recently, sorry, this is like a tangent, but we're just gonna chat. I'm in like a podcast chatty mood. There's a lot going on outside. It's like a busy time of day right now. If you hear background noise, just ignore that. But it's just inspired me to like, wanna just do whatever I wanna do and be my authentic self and stop caring so much what other people think. That's probably like my biggest flaw as a people pleaser is just caring way too much about what other people think like above what I even think sometimes. I watched a video from Gabby Lindley on YouTube recently and she did like a QA and a and she was just opening up about so many different things and she talked about how she was just tired of like living her life for other people, like living her life to please other people. And it was just such a wake up call for me. I was like, oh my God, like I really needed to hear this. That video was amazing. By the way, I'll link it down below in case you want to check it out. And it was just like a combination of all of these women that I've seen recently who are just being their authentic selves that's inspiring me to be my authentic self. So anyway, side note tangent, all of that to say, I have just um, like I just kind of want to sit down and chat and normally in a vlog I'll try to like do all of the things that a vlog should be doing right like gotta do this many montages or not too many montages or make sure I'm like diversifying what I'm showing like okay I'm out of my house okay I'm in my house okay here I'm doing this and in this video I'm doing a grocery haul and in this video I'm cooking like anyways What I'm gonna do is finish up some editing work and then go lay on the couch and watch tonight's episode of Love Island. Oh my God, you guys. Love Island is back, Love Island winter. We're so excited about it. Drew and I are already so into it and it's only episode two. Well, we're on episode three now, but it's so frustrating because the UK is like, I think in week three at this point, ugh. And we're so behind and actually last year, we kind of like screwed ourselves over by watching everything on the VPN and like watching it in real time because all of our friends here, we were like two, three weeks ahead of them. And it wasn't fun because then we couldn't like react together and watch together. So anyways, we might just have to do the like one episode per night thing. In case you don't watch Love Island, Um, you should. It's phenomenal television. Um, Honestly, reality TV edit prime so if you want to watch that on hulu i believe they release one new episode every weekday if i'm not mistaken but we might crack and just go back into the vpn and watch it um on like itv speaking of itv you know we love our british crime shows over here in this corner in the internet and we well this isn't like a crime show necessarily but we did just finish a limited series show on netflix i think it was and it was called the inside man or inside man it had david Tennant, it had stanley tucci and it was a really actually like the cast was really good. I'm not gonna lie like the show itself was meh The ending was meh. I won't give anything away, but I would definitely recommend that one That one was really fun and like, you know thrilling to watch Drew's in his office right now on a call or else I would ask him the other one We were watching something on HBO and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know what it was We were watching sex lives of college girls on HBO. That was really cute, too then we also recently watched on BritBox, which we get through Amazon Prime. We were watching, I already forgot what it was called. <laughs> I will find out for you in just a moment. We always are watching Escape to the Country. It is phenomenal. It's our favorite show to watch, like what we're like eating. We rewatched Gavin and Stacy, And then we watched this one. Um, this is called Karen Peary. And it was just like a limited series. I hope that there will be another season. It's phenomenal. If you watch Outlander, this is the actress who played Larry, I believe is how you say it, Leary. It's based in Scotland, it's like a crime series. She's phenomenal, I actually really loved it. And then also, um, side note, on HBO Max, if you have it, this freaking show, I can't remember if I talked about this. If I did, I'm gonna talk about it again, and if I haven't, this freaking show was so phenomenal. Oh my God, it was so good. It's called It's a Sin. It's based in London in like the late 80s, early 90s during like the AIDS crisis. And oh my God, I sobbed. I literally sobbed watching this. It was really sad, but really moving, really beautiful. This cast, incredible the reason i even like found out about that cast was because we watched like one of the holiday episodes of the great british bake-off and it was like that whole cast and i was like oh i recognize like a couple of the people from other things i've seen and oh my god it was so good that's like definitely my top recommendation but it's 
it's very moving it's just very intense and i just had no idea i was so young when you know that was happening and like i mean i wasn't even born for some of it so really 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 good strongly recommend that if you have any tv series that you recommend let me know a lot of people have been talking about the last of us i think we might start that tonight after love island not sure nobody asked for any of those recommendations but there you have it anyway so i hope you all enjoyed this vlog i'm just gonna go finish up some editing and then sit on the couch and watch love island like i mentioned before drew and i are gonna like rot on the couch basically and i cannot wait so i appreciate you being here very very much thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you very soon in the next vlog bye